Hey everybody, welcome back to Pete's Classic Cycle. Uh, with winter over, I thought I'd do a quick little garage cleanup, give myself some space to work, and update everybody on uh, some current projects, upcoming projects, and what sorts of videos uh, to expect. So we'll just kind of do a little tour here. This is a, just a little impromptu video I thought I'd make while I was in the garage tonight. So this is Mango, my little KV75. That's a 75cc single two-stroke, uh, 2022 Z900RS 50th anniversary edition, one of 50 to come into Canada, so that's pretty cool to have. Uh, 1985 GPZ900R Top Gun replica, so we're going to have a video coming out on this bike and kind of the build process. Uh, this one should be really cool. I've... Uh, trying to finalize details um, but it's going to be in a hangar with a couple old war warbirds so that should be a really cool video and kind of top gun tribute uh, project goal members back in the garage uh, we had at the toronto spring show this is the 73 s2a it's a little 350 triple that i put together for my brother a really cool custom piece actually uh probably one of the favorite bikes that i've i've put together uh both aesthetically and just a fun little ripper. Moving along is my personal 1972 H2. I'd like to do another video on this one uh, since it's only been featured in my TNT chamber uh, Tony Nicosia uh, history in a pipe installation video. Uh, so this is my yeah that's my baby right there. Uh, and I don't know why I don't feature it more. It's uh, it's a really cool bike and, and really fun to ride. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for a nice video on this 72H2. And then behind me, uh, this was the first build series that I did on my YouTube channel going way back a few years. This was uh, my dad's 1973 RD350. Uh, completely original besides the bars and grips and only 600 original miles so it might be time that i actually pull this out of the garage and do a, a good proper video featuring just exactly how beautiful this bike really is absolutely gorgeous uh, this is 1978 kh 400 another bike that i built i've got a series on this one as well uh, this bike actually was really fun to do i uh, built it for my girlfriend she kind of designed it aesthetically and i put it together so it's a really fun project to do together with her uh then this is a 1971 honda cb 500 this is going to be another video coming out this year uh we just got to kind of go over the brakes chains and sprockets but we did get it running so this bike uh, belonged to my uncle who unfortunately is no longer with us and i was fortunate enough to become its new custodian so it's got a lot of really cool period correct mods um, just a lot of cool history in my family with this bike uh, my dad and my uncle were uh, best friends who ended up marrying sisters and, and rode together so to have this bike and along with my dad's z1 project that's uh, currently underway to have them both together again um, riding on the road hopefully sooner than later is a uh, it's really special and a great way to pay tribute to both my father and my uncle. Uh, here we've got another Honda NSR 250. Uh, so if you follow my channel, you would have seen the video I did on the MC18 that I put together, the 1989 NSR 250R. Well, this is the next generation up. This is a 1990 MC21 NSR 250R. So a little bit more modern styling cues on the tail, different headlight. Uh, in my opinion, this is just a, one of the most beautiful bikes ever made uh, in, in the head of its time and styling. Uh, if you notice the motor in, in it, that's because I had it rebuilt. And it's actually got the limited edition dry clutch motor, which is really cool. And all sorts of bolt-on Taiga goodies like those nice stainless chambers. So that's going to be a really exciting bike. Uh, not this year. Uh, hopefully next year I'll have time to, to put that one together. 
And then this little guy, another video I'd like to do on this one, is the KV Rocket. So this is the 400cc triple in a KV 75. This is an absolute blast to ride. And yes, I do ride it. If you are at uh, the Paris Rally in uh, Paris, Ontario, or mid-Ohio last year, there's a good chance you would have seen or most definitely heard this thing. It is awesome. I even uh, had it on the kind of the off-road uh, dirt oval they have in mid-Ohio and in a little motocross track. So yes, I do ride it. Uh, and yes, it is a handful. A uh, little JR50. That's my daughter's bike. Uh, and then this is a uh, probably the rarest bike in the garage. Uh, it's a Kawasaki BX200 BMX bike. Uh, this was available through Kawasaki. Now, all the parts have Kawasaki part numbers. Um, I'm going to do a video on this one. A really cool history piece. Because uh, this is a bit of Kawasaki history. A lot of people don't know about and if anybody's keen you'll notice those rear shocks are actually the same exact shocks that would have come on the kv75s originally so it's uh, it's cool like even on the bicycles kawasaki was able to pull parts off the shelf to put together uh moving up to the left we got the 72 s2350 project still underway starting to come together now look like a motorcycle again um maybe my favorite thing in the garage is actually this player's dealer sign so uh i mean a it's just cool to have an old dealer sign but what makes this one so special is this is actually the original sign hung at my family's dealership back in the day so away gertz equipment that was our family dealership Got another sign there. Um, but yeah, we were a player stealership ship that actually closed in 2001. Um, this, this sign was sold off to multiple people and through a completely random series of events on its way back to us. So I'm going to be lighting that guy up, hanging it on the wall. So not motorcycle related, but definitely cool and uh, both for snowmobile and family history. Um, other than that, guys, not much else has changed. Van Dam still up on the wall. Uh, collection of tanks got a little bit bigger. Uh, most of these have damage and whatnot on the other side, so don't think that I'm hoarding everything. And to anybody wondering where the 73Z1 is, well, there's part of it there, 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 part of it there. Part of it there. Uh, the 73Z1, it, there is progress being made, although it doesn't look like it. The frame's been painted, all the zinc has been redone, the motor is off getting rebuilt. Um, so once the S2 is off the lift, I'm going to put the Z1 frame on there and start assembling that. So if you're wondering where the Z1 was, it's uh, kind of everywhere right now. Anyways, that's it for now. Just thought I'd give a quick update. Uh, and preview of videos and, and projects to come so hope everybody had a great winter and uh, hope you all have a safe riding season ahead so thanks again i always love making these little cameo or well not cameos uh, little impromptu videos for you guys so yeah it's been a pleasure and uh, as always guys please ride safe